Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you my anticipation is well by the grace of almighty allah and i am also well all of you are welcome to nvs home school this is abir hussain khan assistant teacher in mathematics at day shift of national ideal english version school today i am going to take mathematics class 4 class 5 and our today's topic is cbq chapter 7 and part 1 which is including your annual term exam and our today's lecture is 22 and hw is 16. now my dear students let's go to start our class look here chapter 7 is decimal fraction and here is two cbq questions we will solve question number two is here we'll solve question number two is here and question number one will be your hw now my dear students look at the question number two five students want to divide 4.5 meters of tape equally among them number a convert 0 0.25 into general fraction number b how many meters of tape will each have number c if the price of one meter tape is 100 taka then what will be the price of the tape of each student now the solution of a look here look here question number a is convert 0 0.25 into general fraction so you can write here given that given that the fraction is the fraction the decimal is the decimal number the decimal number is zero point two five now the fraction is now the fraction is look here here is 0 0.25 for this decimal point we can write one as denominator and erase this decimal point then look here here is two digit after this decimal point for each digit we will use each zero at denominator place here is 2 for 1 here is 0 5 for 1 here is 0 so we can write 0 0.25 after removing decimal point 25 divide by 100 so what will be here it will be 25 divide by 100 now make it a lowest term we know that 5 5 is a 25 and 5 into 10 5 twos are 10 and 0 will be 0 so 5 to 20 is are 100 again 5 ones are 5 and 5 fours are 20 so the fraction is 1 out of 4 the answer is 1 out of 4 is the general fraction of 0.25 my dear students hope you understood this one now look at the question number b how many meters of tape will each have how many meters of tape will each have so the solution of b is given that given that five students Five students get four point five meters of tape. Therefore, one student 
indicates four point five divided by five meters. Then what will be here? Here four point five divided by five. Look here after taking first digit here is four is smaller than five. So we'll take five including it and it makes forty five. But look here, here is a point. For this point we can write here zero point. Now suppose here is no decimal point then it will be 45 five nines are 45 then what will be here 0 from 5 from 5 it will be 0 and 4 from 4 it will be 0 so after dividing 4.5 it will be 0 0.9 meters So we can write each have each have zero point nine meters of tape. Hope you understood this one. Now number C. Now number C what will be here? If the price of one meter tape is 100 taka, then what will be the price of tape of each student? Solution of C, we can write the price of The price of one meter tape, one meter tape is one hundred taka, and from question B. We got one student gets zero point zero point nine meters of tape. Now look at the question, if the price of 1 meter is 100 taka, then what will be the price of the tape of each student? Then we can write price of 1 meter is 100 taka. Then price of price of 0 0.9 meter is 100 multiplied by this one then what will be here 109.5 look here here is two zeros in the ones place and tens place then we can write here two zeros and then one with nine five after considering there is no decimal point then it will be nine five look here here is one digit after a decimal point so we'll put from the ones place here is a decimal point then what will be here here is One hundred multiply by zero point nine. 
Look here, here is one digit after the decimal point. Then we can write here a decimal point after taking one's place. And it makes 90. No need to write 0 here. So we can write here 90 taka. So the price of each student getting tape is 90 taka. So the answer is 90 taka. My dear students, hope you understood this one. Now, look at the question number one, which is your HW. Look at the question number one is, Rita went to a market and bought a pen, a book and a pencil. The price of book is 275 taka. The price of a dozen pen is 60.60 taka. What is the price of a pen? Look here. The price of a book is ato. The price of a dozen pen is a dozen pen. That means 12 pens. 12 pens. Price of these 12 pens is 60.60 taka. Then, what will be the price of one pen? We will divide this one by 12. And then we will get the answer of question number A. Hope you understood this one. Now, number B, what the price of 100 books? What is the price of 100 books? Look here, the price of one book is, price of one book is, price of one book is, which one? 275 and 50 taka. Then price of 100 books what will be here, 100 books what will be here, we will multiply 275.50 multiply by 100, then we will get the answer. And the last one, the price of one pencil is equal to two pence, the price of one pencil is equal to two pence. Look here, from question number one will get the price of one pen from question number one we will get the price of one pen so one pen price multiplied by two is the price of one pencil after getting the answer from a you will multiply that one by two then you will get the price of one pencil. My dear students, hope you understood your SW. Practice it and submit your SW at your school campus. Take care of yourself, abide by your parents. See you soon and till then, Allah Hafiz.